Hey fellow dreamers, welcome to a new day at the farm, at the allotment. It is actually cold once again, but there's a few things we need to do because we ordered something and I'm actually really excited about it because it's a greenhouse. It's a really big one. We've been looking for quite some time, but we found the right one. It's secondhand, so we're refurbishing some materials. That's for today. Also, this big pile of wood chips needs to move because we're getting more compost in and it needs to go all the way to the back. So let's get going. Before I get into the greenhouse, I wanted to start with the moles. I found a new technique online and I don't really want to use it. So I just wanted to ask if anybody else knows about this. Basically, uh, you open up a hole. I got one right here and you pour it, you fill it with gasoline. I have the gasoline on the land for the land mower, but I don't really want to pour it in the land because this is where the greenhouse will be. And we want to grow vegetables here. So it doesn't really make sense to put gasoline on top. But if you guys know about this or have any other ideas, let them know once again, I really don't want to just buy a clamp and kill them. It's a bit pointless and yeah, it just doesn't make too much sense for me. I want to scare them away, get them off the land and then we'll be fine. Um, yeah, just let me know. Let's continue. Let's go to the wood chips. I'm now standing on the remaining wood chips. We ordered 15 tons in the beginning. We now have about five left. It's an estimation, but I think it's about five and we need to get a pathway in between here because the truck needs to go to the back there to drop off the new compost. So the best thing I can think of is just grab a shovel and put it to the side so there's a pathway for the truck to pass here. So basically what I have to do is move five tons of wood chips with a shovel. Let's go. This is so heavy. Didn't expect it to be this heavy. Oh my God, I didn't even move like one ton. I, I didn't move anything. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's continue. Right, a pathway is opening up and we're getting there, but I'm losing light. So for today, I'm just gonna continue, but I'm gonna stop filming because you won't be able to see anything anyway. When we get back here tomorrow, we'll be done. And we're gonna start with the foundation of the greenhouse. I did get it finished yesterday. It is done. I hope it is wide enough, but I have a feeling that it's just fine. Now let's head to the foundation of the greenhouse because it is being delivered next week and we need to make a big giant hole to get it in. Now the idea is to have a pathway coming from the flower garden where you guys are right now, all the way to here, to the front of the greenhouse. This is mainly because we want to start the growth of all the little flower seedlings in the greenhouse as well. So not only the vegetables, but also the flowers. So we have one straight pathway coming from the flower garden. So it's easy access and we don't have to walk in between all the path. I did forget my measuring tape. So we're going to use the next best thing, which is just a piece of rope. There's one measurement that I know that I made that's from this bed to the fence over there. It's eight meters. So I'm going to use that, then divide it a couple of times, and then we'll have a string of two meters and one of one meter. And then we can set some stuff out. with you I didn't expect it to be this big but this is it it is six by three and a half and it's amazing we're gonna have all the transplants in here we're gonna start every seat that goes outside basically we're gonna start in here and we're also in the back here are gonna grow some vegetables like bell peppers or chilies that just use a little bit more warmth now I'm just gonna go and have lunch and also get a measuring tape because I wanna measure out and then we're gonna start digging. And it's done. I did take out about half an extra hour to make sure that everything was correctly in place, but it's now completely measured out. And let me show you how I did it. There's actually an extra line now crossing all the way, which I measured out from the end over there and over there. 
measured all the way to here to make sure that they're both on the same side, the exact same size, and that makes for a perfect line to align our greenhouse at. By having that line in place, I can now measure from the line, and I did that for all the corners and also measured again from the sides, and now everything is in place, and we are ready to start digging everything out. So uh, yeah, wish me luck, because it's a lot of digging to do, but let's go. Lucas here, Nicole is here after a hard day of work. Uh, I did one hole, is ready. The other one Nicole's working on. So we have four more, or four? One, two, three, four. It feels like we need to do more than four. Well, it's four more after this one apparently. Uh, so we're just gonna continue and then tomorrow we'll set out everything again and make sure that the corners are perfect. And then next week when the greenhouse arrives, we can make sure everything is level as well. So. Just gonna continue into the night and get all the holes dug and uh, hopefully we get it done quickly. All right, we're back at it. We're <laughs> she can't see the camera. Huh? Where is the camera. It's really dark. It's safe to say that it's dark. We got two video lights here oh, yeah. and they're just, <laughs> they're just gonna be active. We're just gonna tune up some music and uh, have a little bit of fun here. That's it, all the six holes are done. We had a party here. It was a lot of fun to do this in the middle of the night. Uh, yeah, we actually have nothing more to do before next week. So we'll see you guys then. We'll have the compost arriving and also the greenhouse arriving. So really excited for next week. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, consider subscribing and don't forget to live the fun dream. Yeah.